out when it comes. Good morning everyone, MMD back on the road. You'll see they have the police with them to provide any support and security that might be required. And today they'll be issuing tickets for illegal parking, they'll be clearing vendors, they'll be catching those riding without helmet, without seatbelt, coding and everything else that you see in my videos each day. Over here they're issuing a number of tickets to tricycles parked here and another ticket to this Innova over here. And further along you'll see one of the western guys issuing a ticket to this jeepney for being parked here. And further down the road they're issuing more tickets, some people are contesting but they're quite clearly parked here so they'll just issue a ticket and then send them on their way or leave it on the windscreen if there's no driver. And since there's no one here to claim and move these stores I think the sidewalk clearing team will be putting them on the back of their truck. They've already picked up a couple of items, something there from a vulcanizing shop that was obstructing the sidewalk. They might have to break these down a bit, but sometimes what they do is load it onto the truck hold and then while they're driving along they break it down. And of course it's not just cars and tricycles and jeeps, also motorcycles are issuing tickets too. Over here you'll see they've left a ticket to this one on the windscreen. That'll be illegal parking unattended, 2,000 plus obstruction, 1,000. So a total of 3,000 peso. And over here the team are getting ready to impound this tricycle. Unfortunately the driver said he doesn't have a license, so he shouldn't really be driving this. And further down the road they're issuing tickets to these vehicles. You can see they're obstructing what should be the sidewalk, plus they're actually hanging into the road itself. Over here the team are looking at this truck. At first they said no we have a permit from MTPB to park here, which is true they do, but it's already expired. And then next they said oh no your team leader said it's okay so don't issue a ticket. The gentleman here was arguing with enforcers, didn't want to give his license, he said he's a Kagawa here. And then they found out that this vehicle actually hasn't been registered for four years. You'll see someone has just arrived with a license now. The enforcers didn't want to issue a ticket to the plate because the vehicle hasn't been registered for so many years that if you ticket the plate, most likely no one will ever pay that ticket. Further down the road, you'll see another car parked in the road. They've already put the ticket on the windshield. You see the team just loaded this motorcycle onto the tow truck. They stopped the rider because he didn't have a helmet and then they found out he doesn't have a license either. So the bike was impounded. Here comes a gentleman now, no helmet unfortunately. Over here you'll see the sidewalk clearing team are using the reciprocating saw on this roof. You can see it extends far into the road. Look, this is the end of the sidewalk and then it's going far into the road. So any tall vehicles that pass through here will smash straight into that. They also ask the residents on the other side to remove all their obstructions from the sidewalk. They have tents and railings and things like that. Their argument was, well, look at the rest of the sidewalk further down the street. And that's a problem. When the barangay allow one person to extend, you have to let everyone extend. The team are now back on Valencia Street. Uh, if you go through here when the MMDA aren't here, you'll see so many tables and chairs on both sides and then just a narrow strip in the middle for vehicles. You remember last time the team were here, they confiscated a lot of tables and chairs from this area because they were obstructing the sidewalk. Well, they just got new ones. Man without a helmet over there. What I noticed on the last street when we were leaving is that the barangay had actually placed someone on each corner and they were warning motorcycle riders, hey, don't come down here, those without helmets. Again, over here, they're taking this one out of the road. Many of these said last time, yeah, we'll self-demolish, don't worry, we'll remove it before you get back. Of course, that never happens. There's actually a lot of school children and students that use this road. That's why they wanted to clear the sidewalks to make a safe place for them to walk. Because when you get large vehicles coming down here and everyone's walking in the middle of the road, it's very dangerous. And you'll see over here they're unloading printers and scanners from this space that's built on the sidewalk. Obviously they're worried about the sidewalk clearing team breaking it down. Over here the team are cutting down the tarpaulings from this business. What happens is later in the day they get extended out into the road, blocks large vehicles from passing. So you'll see some people actually trying to take down their own tarpaulings before the team cut them down. And you see over here the team are breaking apart this canteen. Uh, basically it's extending into the road and it's actually built onto the sidewalk. This one's kind of a heavier construction because it's got rebar that's in the cement so it's going to take a bit more work to take this down. I think they might just rock this one back and forth to try and pull it down easier than cutting it. Of course in an ideal world it would be the residents of self-demolish or the barangay doing this. But uh, unfortunately that's not the case. It has to be the MMDA. It always has to be the MMDA. Otherwise no one's going to do anything. Down it comes. Right now they're looking at this roof extending into the road. You can see the business itself is on the sidewalk. These were the ones that agreed to self-demolish last time the team were here. 
in front of this school here you'll see there's a little bit of sidewalk but again once you get this far there's a store so another one they're trying to demolish i don't think they'll get everything done today because the truck is full and you know there's a limited number of men but they'll do what they can for today and then again remind the barangay please try and do something about this because there are so many complaints about this area There's still some people complaining that if other people can do it, we should be allowed to do it as well. But the point is, no one is actually allowed to do it. If you look over here, you'll see the owner of this property actually followed the request and cut back his roof. Uh, as far as I know, he's the only one along this street that followed the MMBA's order. And there you go, it looks very different now. The roof that was extending in the road has been removed. A lot of the stuff on the sidewalk has been removed. They're still removing a few more things over here. Of course, if they'd have self-demolished themselves weeks ago when the MMBA went here, they could have done this as nicely as they wanted. They could have kept the materials and maybe moved the stuff elsewhere. Uh, but because it's MMBA bringing it down, they'll just do it as fast as possible. And uh, sometimes that does result in materials being destroyed.